Hi, I've decided to make a video about how I modified my Williams wall heater to be more efficient. My heater in my living room has a fan built into it that you can turn on and it greatly increases the amount of heat that comes out of it. I wanted to do this with my Williams wall heater. I contacted the Williams distributor and they make a heater, but it sits on top of the heater. It doesn't blow heat out of the heater. It just moves the heat around after it's come out. I don't know how it works. A, a ceiling fan would be more efficient and actually cost less. So I came up with a, my own solution. I can't recommend you do this because I don't know if you're an idiot and you're gonna burn your house down. So don't try this at home, but I'm gonna show you what I have done for demonstration purposes only. So here I'll cut to the chase and show you what we did. I added a small four inch inline fan to the bottom of the heater here with a little ducting to get it up. At the bottom here is where the flame is. You don't want to blow the air into the flame. I'm sure that would be bad. I did not try to do that. That would be a bad thing. So this just blows the air up the front of the heater. Up here, I have a magnetic furnace switch from Amazon. Both these came from Amazon. And it's just a little magnetic switch. Oops, sorry, it's got some electricity in it. it gave me a little shock there. It uh, turns it on and off at 120 degrees. So it works really well and it blows a lot of air out. The air comes out in this area right here and um, it really makes a difference in the amount of heat. I can tell it's saving energy because my thermostat goes off much quicker than it did when there was no fan on it. So let me back up now and show you a little bit how I got here and how you can avoid some of the errors I made. I first purchased this fan on eBay from China. I paid $13. It doesn't even blow. You can't even feel the air coming out of it. I got a refund. They told me just keep the fan. I got this fan because it was small enough to sit on the little shelf here in the furnace. It just didn't blow enough to work. Then I bought another small fan from Amazon. It was a little bit too big. I had to cut and modify it, but I got it where it would also sit on the shelf. It was just too damn noisy, and it was the fan itself that was noisy. If you pull the fan off of here, the motor is completely quiet. The fan makes so much noise, it was just awful. So I bought this fan from Amazon, it was $20, both of them were $20 each. This one, the description of the fan said extremely low noise was in the description of the fan. In Amazon, it didn't say how big, how long the fan was, and it wound up being longer. So I had to take my 10 snips and cut a notch out of this little shelf. There was nothing on the shelf. There's something on this side. You couldn't cut this side out, but there was nothing on the left side. So I just cut it and bent it up. And um, it works just fine. Let me turn the thermostat on here. The thermostat's on. It takes about 30 seconds or a minute for that switch to get up to 120 degrees there which will then kick on the fan down here. I did have to drill a hole in the wall here in the back of the heater at the bottom to run a power cord in here because the heater itself doesn't use any electricity. Um, and that, with that and cutting the, the shelf there were the only modifications I made to it. And it should be, there it goes. You can probably hear it. It's not very loud. I can feel the heat just blowing out on me now, even from two feet away, I can feel the air blowing out. So it's, um, it's real good. I mean, it works. What I have thought about doing is putting a fan like right here. That would really blow the heat out. I haven't tried it. This fan probably wouldn't do it. It probably would burn up. You know, I have some high temperature wire on the switch right here, but 
the fan itself doesn't have high temperature wire. It's probably not rated at high temperature. If you found a high temperature fan, this would be the place to mount it because this is where the most of the heat is. Um, I have a uh, um, carbon monoxide detector right here on the wall next to it. So in case I did mess something up and started putting out carbon monoxide, at least we would know that hasn't gone off. So um, anyway, that's what I've done to it. I think it's increased. I think it's going to save me at least five bucks a month on my gas bill. It costs 20 bucks for the fan, seven bucks for the switch. And um, the wire was like 90 cents a foot. That was another eight bucks for wire. So I've got 40 bucks into it and it's gonna save me five bucks a month forever. So it'll pay itself off pretty quickly. Um, let me know if you need um, any advice, send me an email, part numbers or something, I can send them to you. Thank you so much, bye bye.